Let's head to Arizona, where today former Vice President Mike Pence talked border security. He's there to support Governor Doug Ducey's re-election campaign ahead of the August primary. And New Station's border correspondent Robert Sherman joins us now from Naco, Arizona. So, Robert, this is an area that's really become a problem spot for border agents. Just in the last couple of years, Nicole, this whole Cochise County area for years used to be a rather quiet portion of the border. But over the last couple of years, we've seen the activity really pick up here. Most notably, the seemingly endless slew of human smuggling bus that are made in this region. And over the weekend, we saw more of the same. We want to show you these photos out of Douglas, Arizona, where 20 migrants, including two unaccompanied children, were found in the back seat and bed of a truck. Now we want to show you these photos. These come out of Bisbee, Arizona. Two U.S. citizens were busted for attempting to smuggle five Guatemalans into the United States. Both of those American smugglers were found to be armed. So the vice president was down here today talking with local officials to get a better idea of the situation that's on the ground here in Cochise County. But as you said, Nicole, also throwing his support behind Republicans running for office in the state, including Governor Doug Ducey. The vice president emphasizing and claiming that if Republicans are able to retake power in Washington during the midterms, he believes that the border will see better days. Listen to this. Help is on the way. Uh, I, I know what Washington, D.C. is focused on right now. But the American people are focused on inflation at a 40-year high, and they're focused on border security. But the vice president made the promise that the help is on the way should the Republicans retake power. And we, when we talked to local residents down here, they said that would be welcome news. But they also see this as a very tall task ahead. Many people we speak with down here losing hope in the border, believing that it will never be secured at this rate, uh, especially when you talk to ranchers who have to deal with this on an everyday basis. They have human smugglers driving through their fences, running through their backyards. They tell us they feel abandoned by Washington. There were uh, 11 people in a suburban right on the highway in front of the house. Uh, they crashed through the fence. This kind of crap goes on all the time. We're not supposed to have to live like that. So with the former vice president still having a lot of name recognition within the Republican Party and with him being down here on the board today, the speculation mill is churning. Is the former vice president eyeing a run at the Oval Office? Well, he was asked that question today and he told reporters the only thing he's focused on right now is the midterms. No surprise there, Nicole. Only focus on the midterms. All right, Robert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.